Hey guys, um, I made a video earlier today, but I wanted to just touch base again because that's what 2018 is for this channel. I'm going to do what I love, love what I do, and all that good stuff. And I just want to, this one, I just kind of want to chat at you and I want you to let me know what you think. So, um, the latest um, from, I guess, in YouTube drama is YouTubers by that go by Dan Rue and Nick Joseph have been slammed by a lot of people for one of their videos where they are acting out in Japan and at the end seemingly seem to kidnap a little girl. So we're in a time of backlash for just about everything, sometimes warranted, sometimes not. This is one of those situations where I'm not 100% sure that the backlash is warranted and I'll tell you why. They're going around, walking around a market, dancing and, you know, generally acting out. It's seemingly innocuous, okay, they pick up some lobster, all that kind of stuff, but they put it back down. It's not... I guess the point I guess the problem here is I'm comparing it to the Logan Paul video and I don't know that it's fair to compare the two videos just because of the severity of the Logan Paul video. In this video Nick Joseph picks up a little girl and starts running. Everyone's upset. People are even calling him a pedophile. I don't think that's fair. So Dan Rue came out on Twitter with a statement saying that the whole thing was staged and so I'm going to read to you exactly what he said because I don't want to misquote him. Uh, this is the latest that he put on Twitter as of 2.30 Eastern Standard Time. Hope you all know this was staged with the family and the child is clearly laughing in the video. We had to edit her laugh out at the end when we pretend, caps, to take her. That's all I'm saying. Have a blessed day. Don't have time to argue. It's clearly a definitive conversation. So for him, it's cut and dried. I hope it is staged just because if it's not, it's insane. So Dan Roos cl clearly saying that he edited out the part where the child is laughing because they're pretending to kidnap her. So here's where I'm at. And this is what I kind of wanted to talk about. I mean, obviously it's better that it was staged and they're not really thinking it's funny to run off with a stranger's kid, right? The other thing is, with these, I guess, acting out, comedies, vlogging, pranking-ish channels, when they're staged, like, is it really better when they don't tell people the stage? Because clearly they wanted people to think that they had just randomly ran up, picked up a little girl, and started running. And is that better that they wanted you to think that that was accurate? And that's what I'm troubled with, right? I think claims that Nick is a pedophile are absurd, obviously. I'm not saying that... I mean, if you've seen my videos, you know how I feel about any kind of prank, kind of that type of channel like I'm not into it I'm not saying they're a prank channel I'm just saying like in general this type of behavior I don't really feel very positively towards it but does it really merit their channel being shut down like people are claiming needs to happen and all that so that's what I want to check in to say I first heard about it on BuzzFeed so I'll link the BuzzFeed article below just so you guys have a reference if you want to read it and, and see what's up let me know what you think. Like, what should there be action? Should they just take down the video? Should they have a strike against them? That's the type of thing. Like, is it... I believe it should be discouraged, but what should be done? And and that's what I wanted to ask. So, so forgive me not being too sure. I am literally just talking it through with you. Please let me know what you think. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.